guys welcome back okay so it's time for me to open up one of my boxy charms i'm pretty shocked because it came super early this month i never get my boxes this early anymore when i first subscribed to this monthly service i used to but not so much anymore so i'm very very surprised that i did get this box super early this month so let me go ahead and open it up and see what we got i think this is my regular base box because i do pay for the base box and the premium box i think this is the base box it's, it's kind of small <laughs> but i'm not sure so let's open her up see what we got okay so let's take a look at the card oh how pretty it says harvest so it's really kind of in the theme of fall and thanksgiving you know it has the nice rich warm colors and just the whole picture of harvest so i like that very very cute and now y'all know okay so i have variation 31 31 okay so let's see what's cracking okay so this first item i'm pulling out small box here it says Jekka Black Liquid Corrector 2.0 Vegan Friendly and Cruelty Free. So this is what the box looks like. So let's go ahead and open her up and see what the product looks like. And this is, is this full size? <laughs> it's kind of tiny, but you know what correctors, they're usually small, so yeah so okay so yeah i've never heard of jekka black before and i don't know if i've ever gotten a color corrector in a monthly subscription box so it just says liquid corrector let's see what it says about this okay it says jekka black liquid corrector 2.0 meet the perfect under eye brightener which disguises darkness and evens out skin tone the lightweight formula creates a natural glowing finish retails for 15 dollars okay so i'm definitely going to try this out let me see if it has a safety seal on it nope no safety seal and it's just like one of those tubes with the little hole in it. So let's see what it looks like. I hate when stuff doesn't have a safety seal. Ooh, she's watery. Okay. Hold on, y'all. Let me show you. Okay. So yeah, she is a little watery. Very light, very bright. So I'm just kind of tapping it and blending it out just to kind of see what happens. Hmm. So that's what it looked like after I blended that little bit out. So it definitely looks like a brightener. Um, it says it's a color corrector. So y'all know I got some serious dark circles. So we will be trying this out <laughs> underneath my eyes. Okay. Because that will be the true test. Okay. Very cool. So let's see what else we got. Oh, I got something from Milk Makeup. Very cute. Nice little triangle packaging here. It says Kush. What is this? Kush Waterproof Mascara. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that's what the box looks like. Pretty cute. Pretty snazzy. Okay, let me open her up and see what's happening. Okay, so it's just the packaging that's shaped like a triangle, not the actual mascara. I don't think I've ever seen the Milk Makeup Mascara, but this is very heavy. <laughs> it's very big and very heavy. So this is what it looks like kind of cool it has like that that texture of you know when they put stuff on packaging and it's kind of like you can shift it and it shows like two different pictures that's kind of like the texture on here it's kind of like ribbed I don't know if you can see that but let's see what it says about this milk makeup kush waterproof mascara it says a waterproof intense black mascara with thickening heart-shaped fibers and conditioning hemp derived cannabis seed oil. Heart shaped fibers. That's interesting. Let me open this up. I don't really like to open up mascaras because you know they dry out quickly, but I'm just curious. Okay, so this is what the wand looks like. So it looks like a fairly decent wand, nice and thick. And the mascara itself actually looks pretty thick, but. I don't know. That's kind of <laughs> kind of interesting to me. The fact that it says says that there are heart shaped fibers. 
I have to check that out when I use it and see what happens, okay? Okay, so let's see what's next. All right, something from Yensa. It says pumpkin turmeric two-in-one radiance polishing mask. Eight super orange essence. Okay, so this is what the box looks like. Very, very pretty. And let me take it out. Oh, this is pretty. I like the packaging. <laughs> Very, very pretty. Definitely says fall. So very cute. Okay, so here on the box, it says pumpkin, turmeric, papaya, grapefruit, ginger, carrot, honey, and orange. Okay, so let's see what it says here. Yenza Beauty Pumpkin Turmeric 2-in-1 Radiance Polishing Mask. And it's funny, I wanted to try a new mask today because my skin is not its best. It's like I've been having breakouts and just my pores have been acting up. So I actually wanted to try like a new or a different type of mask today. So maybe I'll try this one out. Let's see here. A 2-in-1 mask infused with eight orange skin-loving ingredients to help nourish and polish your face for a hydrated, smooth, supple, and radiant complexion. The lightweight and exfoliating formula resurfaces skin in only five to 10 minutes. Retails for $45. Ooh, okay. Did I say how much the mascara was? The mascara retails for $24. I don't think I said that. $24 for that milk mascara. And this retails for $45. So yeah, let me see if, now this has a safety seal, thank God. <laughs> So, yeah, I can't smell anything through the safety seal, but I'm glad it has one. But I want to try this out. Y'all want me to try this in a video? I don't know, but I'm going to try this out. Okay, so next I have this Power Calm Hydrating Gel Cleanser. It's a deep cleanse and soothe. It is from Peach and Lily, and it says Camellia and Chamomile. So this is what the box looks like. Really pretty green and orange box. So let me open her up. This box ain't too bad so far, you guys. It's really not. Okay, so, oh, how pretty. So this is what the tube looks like. Definitely peach and lily. Yes, I love safety seals. Okay, so, yeah, I'm not gonna open that up. Last thing I need right now is a new cleanser open. But let's see what it says about this. Peach and lily power calm hydrating gel cleanser. Cleansing properly can be the difference between healthy skin and problem-prone skin. This gentle sulfate-free cleanser contains a no-harm ingredient and keeps your skin barrier intact. So you can start your routine right with skin that feels deeply cleansed, refreshed, and hydrated. Okay, retails for $28, okay? And, you know, I was watching something. I don't know, some kind of infomercial or something, I think. Yeah, it had to be. It was probably on Instagram now that I think about it because, you know, whenever my skin starts acting up and breaking out, of course I get, you know, annoyed because I put on makeup, <laughs> you know, on camera. And so um, I saw this little Instagram thing, I think, where the lady was talking about, okay, like when you wash your face, you know, you tone your skin and, you know, you clean your skin and all that stuff. And yeah, it was after washing. She was like, well, don't grab a washcloth you know from your bathroom to dry your face off with and I was like but that's what I normally do after I wash my face but she was like it's full of bacteria and disgusting things and it's like you just washed your face now you're going to put this dirty washcloth on your face and that's probably why you're having issues and I'm like I don't know if that's true or not it could be but yeah, that was just kind of interesting to me because I had never heard anybody say that. Like after you wash your face, don't dry it off with a washcloth that you use in your bathroom. I think she was trying to sell these like uh, biodegradable wipes. And I was like, okay, well, that's probably why. But anyway, I digress. So is this the last thing in here? It is. Oh my gosh, the last item. So I did know about this. This is a palette, I guess, specifically between Natasha Denona and BoxyCharm, you know, specifically for the BoxyCharm subscribers in their boxes. This is the palette and it's called Peak. It's a five eyeshadow palette. I mean, could the packaging be any more generic though? Look, <laughs> look at this. Very generic. Anyway, let's open her up to see what's happening, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. 
I guess they had to save money somewhere, huh? But the palette itself, ooh, this is pretty. Look at this, you guys. This is really, really pretty. Let me open it up. And it says Natasha Denona here on the front. And this is what the palette looks like. It definitely says fall to me. It says kind of like Arizona, you know, desert, dusky type feel to it. Very, very pretty. And I like the fact that it has the four mattes and the one shimmer. I like mattes, you know, but I like that. I like this color combination. Really, really pretty. So let's see what it says about this palette, okay? I think this is really nice to have in the box. Natasha Denona Peak Palette, five pan palette featuring Natasha's essential everyday warm tone eye pigments that are, that she mixes and matches from her favorite palettes. All reorganized and wrapped into one, composed of both creamy matte and metallic formulas from the cult classic Biba, Safari, and Sunrise eyeshadow palettes. You'll find yourself reaching for this all season long. Okay, so these are shadows from her palettes that are already out, which I don't have a lot of Natasha Denona palettes. I have a few, but... I don't have all the ones that it was named. I don't have the Biba. I don't have the Sunrise. I do have the Safari though. So I have to check it out. But I think it's really cute. That is pretty. And I'm really, really glad to get a name brand palette in my box and not, you know, a brand that I'm not aware of. So very, very cool. And they're saying that this retails for $48. Okay. That's why I don't have none of these, honey, because yeah, no. <laughs> I buy the larger ones, but the small ones, I just can't bring myself to pay like $50 for like five shades. Can't do it. So, and I have this coupon here and it says I can save 25% off on Natasha Denona. So, that's pretty cool, okay? So anywho, that's it, you guys. That is my whole BoxyCharm box. Like I said, I'm pretty sure this is my base box. I don't think this is my premium. I'm pretty sure it's my base box. I hope it's my base box. But regardless, it's a great box. So thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to see what I got in my base box this month. Don't forget to hit that like, and I will see you on my next video. Bye.